the whole principle is that you must live within your means. This, this has been my message to the people of Kenya. For maybe 12 years, we've been running eight, nine percent fiscal deficit, you know? Which means you're spending money that you're not collecting. And you keep, you know, digging a bigger hole to fill the other one all the time. And, and now we have a debt that is heading towards unsustainable. So when I came into office, I told everybody, tighten up your belts. I am not going to preside over a bankrupt country. I am not going to preside over a country that is in debt distress. We have to cut our spending, you know? And there is no free lunch. And uh, we have to think of uh, what we need to do to do two fundamental things. Reduce, we cannot spend what we don't have. And number two, if we look at our peers, and you know, Kenyans have been socialized to believe that they pay the highest taxes. But empirical data shows Kenya as of last year, we were, our tax as a percentage of our revenues was 14%. Our peers in the continent is on average between 22 and 25 percent, which means we are way below. Um, our taxes are way below those of our peers, you know. And, I, and I'm not comparing myself ourselves with OECD countries, you know. Countries like France are at 45 percent, you know. Others are higher. So I, I persuaded and I made a case to the people of Kenya that we must begin to enhance our revenue. Because if we are a serious state, we must be able to enhance our taxes. So my drive is to push Kenya Possibly this year we will be at 16% from 14%. I want in my term, God willing, to leave it at between 20 and 22%. It's going to be difficult. I have a lot of explaining to do. People will complain. But I know, finally, they will appreciate that the money we go to borrow from the World Bank is savings of other countries. We have to begin to live within our means. And then secondly, is to reduce largesse. You know? There are people travel first class, you know, when it is completely unnecessary. People do, you know, things that... Uh, and so when I, I called, by the way, I sat here with heads of ministries, departments, agencies, and I told them, look, from our data, we can do with 30% less of our um, recurrent expenditure. And you know what? Everybody has gone and cut their recurrent expenditure by 30% and nobody is complaining. What does that tell you? That there was wastage. I mean, there was a place you could cut and still be able to manage to do things. So, we are straightening up things. I am very proud of what we have managed to achieve. The one thing we have done is that we have pulled the country from the brink of debt distress. Our dollar, our, our uh, exchange rate has stabilized. It had gone all the way to 167 it's come down to 130. Fuel had gone up, it's come down. Even to today, fuel has been announced again to come down. Our 
exchange rates, our interest rates are coming down. We're stabilizing the economy because of the measures that I have taken. I took the decision, for example, that we cannot continue to subsidize consumption. When I came into office, we were subsidizing fuel. We were subsidizing uh, uh, very rudimentary things. And we were spending 15 billion, that is close to $150 million every month. And we were going to sink the country, so I stopped. I mean, there was a complaint for a few weeks, and then people started to understand we need to make some hard decisions if we have to get the country moving in the right direction. I can tell you, a year ago, if there was an election, I would have been thrown out. But today, the situation has changed. And going into the future, those who are making noise at me, they will be the ones clapping. That's what it is.